Scattered flurries tried to work their way into our backyard over the course of this evening. As you can see, they kind of lost some steam as they approached uh, much better results over Lake Michigan. So for the most part, we are clear and dry right now. We won't have to worry about any iciness or flurries into tomorrow morning. The clouds also leaving too. That sets us up for a lot more sunshine going into tomorrow. We do have more chances for some flurries this weekend. Then keeping an eye on next week, uh, there is a winter storm uh, kind of lurking around the Midwest. Uh, more details on that in a second. First up, though, uh, the flurries are leaving, mostly cloudy tonight, temperatures bordering on the teens, so a chilly start to tomorrow morning. But with the sky clearing out, it'll be nice to see all that sunshine back for the first time in about three weeks. May get some passing clouds in the afternoon, but for the most part, seeing a lot of clear sky over the day tomorrow. Temperatures up slightly above freezing. We also see the wind chill staying in the upper 20s because we won't see much of a breeze. So overall, pretty quiet, sunny day ahead with near average temperatures. Beautiful way to round out to Thursday and get us closer towards the weekend. As we get into the weekend, you can see the clouds are back. And then some flurries possible, more likely on Saturday than Sunday, but be ready for a few snowflakes possibly floating around the area. Temperatures not warming up much, but at least we get back into the mid 30s going into Friday and the weekend. So kind of a quiet start with some flurries going into the weekend itself. Then keeping an eye on next week. So late Monday night into early Wednesday. So the bulk of this coming through on Tuesday, there is so what looks to be a powerful storm system moving through the Midwest. Way too early to say just exactly where it's going to track and what kind of impacts we may see out of it, but there is a growing chance for some snow and wind going into next Tuesday. Kind of right now in the forecasting process, so we're right about here. So we're recognizing, yes, we've got a favorable storm track, but uh, we're still looking at the trends. More likely, less likely with the storm. If anything, it's growing more likely, so trending up there. But you notice uh, it's going to take a couple days before we have a, an idea of the timing and even what kind of type of precipitation this brings. And if you're uh, hunting for just how much we might pick up, uh, generally uh, that is not certain until about one to two days out. So if you're looking for snowfall amounts, ignore anything that you see on social media right now. Check in with us as we get into the weekend and we'll have a much, much clearer picture as to just how this storm is going to track. So leading up to that point, again, clouds are back on Friday. Slight chances for flurries over the weekend. Tuesday would be the day to keep an eye out for snow. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, we could be down into the 20s and teens for highs going into late next week. So getting into the brunt of winter weather potentially over the next 10 days. In the four degree guarantee, just missed the bullseye today, but that still means cash total up to 169.